Hello and welcome to the GCSE Physics tutorial for topic P2 Electricity. This is part 3, Static Electricity. First of all, what is static electricity? Well, it's caused by the movement of electrons from atoms. Remember, electrons are negative and found in the orbit of atoms. When insulators are rubbed, electrons can either be rubbed onto a material or off it, and this changes the charge of the material. When a charge builds up, there's more potential difference between the object and the Earth, and this can cause the electrons to jump across this gap, causing a spark, for example, lightning. Electrons can also jump to conductors that are earthed, causing a static shock. Here's an example. If this rod is rubbed with the cloth, you can see that the electrons move onto the cloth, the cloth becomes negative, the rod becomes positive. Polythene rods, if they're rubbed with the cloth, electrons move onto the rod, so the rod becomes negative. An acetate rod, if that's rubbed with the cloth, the electrons move off it, and that makes the rod positive. Like charges repel, opposite charges attract. Any charged object has an electric field around it, and the electric field is strongest when it's closest to the object. And you can show the electric field using field lines. Field lines always go from positive to negative, they're at right angles to the surface, and the closer the lines, the stronger the field. If you pause the tutorial now and try these questions. So when you rub insulators, you change the charge. That's because electrons can move, be moved onto the material or off the material. What causes a static spark? Well, when a material is charged, there's a potential difference between the material and the earth. If the charge is large enough, then the electrons jump across the gap, causing a spark. In summary, we've looked at static electricity.